Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Zach Calhoun here, uh, co-founder of CloudPayo.com. Hope you're doing well. I got a special guest today. His name is Joel. Joel, say hi, bro. How's it going, guys? Me, me and Joel uh, got connected over our Facebook group, Virtual Tour Profit. He was doing a, a really cool dentist virtual tour on Cloud Benno. We started chatting. He shared some other th other things he had going on, other projects. And I figured, hey, bro, let's hop on a call. Let's go over some stuff you're doing because you got some cool little ninja things you're, you're working on. And overall, just the quality of the 360 photos you're outputting with your Z1 are pretty awesome. Um, so I think we'll all benefit, even me today, from uh, talking to Joel and seeing what he's doing. And, and really, I want to ask him today stuff like, hey, how'd you get this customer? And how'd you get this one? And what are you doing for this thing? And uh, just to see what he's working on. And hear a story. Try to pull out some gold for yourself. Apply it to your business. I talked to Joel before this call, and I just said, hey, you know, let's, let's, talk about, um, let's talk about stuff that is helpful to the brand new person and even the, the, the expert. So um, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll kind of just wing it. We don't have a, a true structure today, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the best so, way to do it. Yeah, that's right. So Joel, how do I pronounce your last name? Uh, Nagel. Nagel. Okay, cool. Like bagels. I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to mispronounce it. So <laughs> no, yeah. You're good. Uh, yeah. So tell me about, you know, you, you know, tell me your story uh, and, and about your business, where you're from and we'll, and we'll go from there into, into that cool dentist project and then the, the college and then the, museum, other stuff like that. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So I, uh, founded our small company, JRE virtual. We're based out of, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. And, uh, that was about eight months ago. We got things up and going, uh, in the very beginning, it was really just geared towards Google virtual tours. And, uh, I honestly thought out that's all it was ever going to be. It's just, Google virtual tours like that was my mind I was like wow this is gonna take off and this is all I'm ever gonna need I'm not gonna have to offer anything else and it was uh I slowly realized it's it wasn't like that at all and uh as time went on I had a few bigger clients that uh, I was able to get my foot in the door with uh especially this one university USF in uh St. Petersburg Florida and uh from there after a lot of mistakes, it taught me what I can actually do with the company and what other services I could actually be offering. Cool. You know? Cause they had, they'd asked me, Oh, can you offer headshots? Can you offer uh, video walkthroughs? Can you offer a customized virtual tour? And you know, I had to say like, no, no. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yes, everything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Yes. exactly. Oh, okay. exactly. <laughs> So, so uh, okay, so I'm going to pause you for a second, okay? So, when me and Joel first talked, he's, he was like, dude, I just got in the door with University of, of, of USF, and I was like, what? And he's, he's, he's telling me, or, or, or we talked about a semester or something like that, and uh, <clears throat> I, want to, I want to dig into that, to that project. I, I think so we can come back to the dentist stuff later, but yeah, so tell the story about how you broke in there, and then uh, what the current contractor is going to look like, and what it's going to be next year. And it, just, just start from the beginning there. I, I want to hear about this USF project. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so honestly, it was, uh, it was a huge blessing because I, in reality, at the, the, the time of where I started the company to where I got my foot in the door, it, it really shouldn't have happened the way it did because it was, it was really by word of mouth from uh, one of the directors there and then one of my buddies that worked there that caught wind of what uh, me and my company were doing in the surrounding area. And uh, I was able to schedule just a meet and greet and, you know, spitball with them. And I got into their office. And who was the, who was the, what, what was the role of the person? Just, they have a certain title. So he was the director of student engagement and marketing for their event space. Interesting. Okay. Director so, of student so, engagement and marketing for events. Okay. Yeah. So basically he, he pushes bookings for the university's event spacing. Okay. And, uh, that which makes them money. Spoke, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Which is like something I never really even thought of. Is yeah, that's me either. A cool. Pretty good niche. <clears throat> yeah. With specific universities is their, mm -hmm. uh, their, their booking spots. You know, because they a venue. Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Because that is another way for them to make money because they book, you know, city hall meetings there. They book weddings, dances, a lot of different things, speeches. 
Makes and, sense. Someone's uh, got to organize that. Someone has to get paid for that. So exactly. someone's in charge of it. Therefore, exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Cool. So they're always trying to pull spots, and that's exactly. Sorry. You're good. That's exactly what uh, what he told me is you know we want this space shown off to uh, to a wider audience, and we you know he told me we love your work and we love to work with you, and then from there, you know they gave me the option you know you you can either work as a independent contractor for us, or you can get on our vendor list if you're willing to, you know, take a step up and uh, get your LLC, a proof of business and pull an insurance policy. And so I did all that, those things within, you know, a week, a week and a half. Sure. And uh, was able to get my foot in the door further. And uh, so now we're, we're listed on their vendor list as the only independent contractor or sorry, only vendor for virtual tours for the, for the, entire campus for the whole USF system. Very cool. How so many I, campuses do they have? Um, a lot. Uh, there's, I, I think there's over 45 departments between yeah. Southwest Florida. So there's, you know, USF Manatee, Sarasota, Tampa, St. Pete, there's cool. USF health. So it, it kind of gives me more free reign to kind of target and go into each of those departments. But I'm actually, mm-hmm. I'm re I'm reshooting that same virtual tour with cloud Pan out. Oh, cool. Um, to use that as leverage to go back into the other departments yeah. because when I first shot that tour, that was eight months ago, I did that with uh, Rico Theta V and you know, it's like yeah. apples and oranges. It's like yeah. not, it's not, I really wish I would have had the Z1 at the time and I wish I would have had Plaid Pana at the time because yeah. the quality is just like not there. And yeah. I kind of felt bad about that. So I went back into their office like, Hey, we have this new platform. I have this new camera. I would love to reshoot it for you if you're willing to book me again. So, you know, 10 days from now, I'm going to do a reshoot for them and, you know, go all out. Awesome. So that's going to be your main marketing piece, main marketing lever, right? Your one example that you're going to use. That's cool. Exactly. That's, that's what you need. So I like how you didn't go out and get insurance and get an LLC and do all these extra business steps until you had a customer need, right? Exactly. So yeah, that's a good that's a good point. A lot of folks, you know, they go out and get a website and a logo and a in a in an LLC and, and they and they get a camera and they get <clears throat> they even sign up to Cloud Panel and they don't have one customer yet. You know, and I'm just yeah. like I've I've had so many calls people and I say, dude, hey listen, I want you on the platform. I want you to have I'll make a lot of money on Cloud Panel and a lot of folks are. Um, and I'm so I'm excited to have you. But you need to go out and get a customer. Like you just need to go get a customer, go talk to somebody, even one person, justify yeah. the purchase of the camera, justify the purchase of, of the hosting. Like just think that way, pre-sale. Like, and I think you did a good job of that. Um, I started off with the Rico Theta V. So I get that. So it's a good place to start, you know, you got to try it and you realize, Oh wow, this is actually pretty easy. I can do this. So yeah. Focus on sales. Um, and then you kind of, kind of bounce back and forth from, okay, I need, to, I need to reinvest in my fulfillment, make it better, you know, and, and come back to, Okay, now, now that I had that figured out, go back to my sales mode, you know, that's okay to bounce back. Exactly. Cool. That's, exactly. Really, that's really great. So now, you, now you're, you're fully insured. You got an LLC. You're, you're up and running in the USF system. I'm, I'm excited for your reshoot. Um, when you get that reshoot, what's your, what's your marketing plan? How are you going to go about, I mean, really step by step? Because, yes, you can target all kinds of niches. And I always tell folks, yes, I get it. You can make a virtual tour for, for every niche in the whole world. I, but... but <laughs> But truthfully, like, it's just for the brain, for the entrepreneur's mind, it's, it's just easier to target one niche and really pull everything you can yeah. and give the most value you can um, and then go on to the next one. So what's your plan right now in your mind? Now, I'm, I'm curious and I can as, give you some As far feedback. as the school? As yeah, far as the university? just that university and that vendor's list. Like, do, are you going to make a list of the people's names and just like make sure that they know who you are? What, what's your plan? What are you thinking? Well, originally what I was thinking is uh, I totally, I absolutely, I want to sh- reshoot that same space for free because in reality, it's, it's not going to take me as much time. It's probably going to take me less time, especially with Cloud Pana. Mm-hmm. It would just be less shots. And uh, I have a team, uh, two videographer, sorry, one videographer and an audio guy that's going to help me with embedded videos on that tour. So basically oh. this reshoot, is going to be almost like a sample to do a full virtual tour of the campus. Yeah. And so um, I want to use this new tour as leverage to that same director. And he, he, he was more than willing to 
get my foot in the door with the other departments there and the other department heads. And so it just, good. to me, it looks good that we're willing to like go the extra mile. Cool. With them. <clears throat> really great idea. So what you're thinking is top, a couple layers deep. You're saying, if I do really awesome up front here with this one department, so what's the department? Is it like science or something like that? What's the? It's uh, the University uh, Student Center. It's student like, Center. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you have this one uh, small, like micro, like a, a sub niche almost of the, of the of this particular university. You want to obviously shoot a virtual tour for the whole university, um, and you're thinking, okay, if I can make it a 360 virtual tour on cloud panel, if I can shoot some really cool video and make sure it's edited and looks incredible, I can use that as a marketing piece to really not only every department in in their system, but also exactly. every campus. But well, see that that's how you gotta think that's really cool. I mean you're 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 really thinking uh, long term, which is great. And that's okay to lose a little bit of money up front sometimes because yeah. you're, you're gonna go out there and crush it later. You can count your dollars later. So do you have an idea exactly. like, of like what you would charge per department or you kinda kinda roll with it and kinda see how many hours it takes or what, it, what are you thinking? You know, it's like it's just so funny because my when I first uh when I first got the deal and the contract with the uh, with the shoot eight months ago with them, I was doing it per per pano, mm -hmm. and I was charging I think twenty five dollars per picture, just about. And then hindsight, I mean that that's like we do not do that anymore at all because it's too, yeah. too. I feel like it's too lucrative, so I I just do uh, I do per square foot. Okay. Right now is fifteen cents a square foot for either cloud pano or any other <coughs> platform um yeah. okay interesting so it was a really good first job to like get myself started and get some capital to uh to back up new equipment or cool. literally whatever i need any overhead gotcha well that's great and i think uh in sometimes in a scope of work when you write a proposal uh, it's up to every individual, every business owner, um, being a little bit vague and what the expectations are for yeah. the number of panels is okay, you know, like our number yeah. of photos of, or what the exact specs are, you know. So, uh, and and I think that sometimes you could say, hey, I'm going to be, you could you could make the value look very complicated on a piece of paper, yeah. but then really you're out there for three hours and you're done and you get paid, you yeah. know, you know, twenty five hundred bucks and you're pretty happy, you know. So yeah. that that's also very possible with a university. I mean, they they got money, bro. So I would say don't don't be, uh, uh, you know, don't be shy with with, with hitting it pretty yeah. hard. Well, you know? and that's the thing is that a lot of these, uh, like you know, every department at I, I would assume most universities, but from what this director told me is each department has their own auxiliary budget that they get to use uh, um, for exactly for stuff like this, which is cool. technically considered under this umbrella of marketing okay. for that department to have more student engagement with that, with that specific department. That's awesome. So were you able to extract that number? Did, did he tell you how much it is per year? I'm sure he did. I wasn't, I okay. wasn't, but he <laughs> said, what he told me is that, um, what did he say? This is a long time ago, but he said, uh, he said, if we don't spend our complete budget, then we're going to have less next year. Yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it's interesting, right? So like, it, 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 it's, it's like, you know, it's a super weird niche, right? It's public money. Sometimes they, if, if, and it's procurement's job to spend that money and the government says, all right, well, if you didn't do a good job spending our money, we're going to put it somewhere else. Cause we have yeah. a limit. We have a certain amount, which is actually a very large pool, but they want to, they, they want money to move and be out there creating value. They don't want money to be sitting there versus us as a personal. I mean, it's different for a personal income standpoint. You're thinking, well, I need to save money. I need to make sure I don't spend too much money. That's not how it is in certain, for certain businesses or certain public entities, right? So I'm not sure if USF is public or not, but it doesn't matter. Like that's how budgets work in businesses. They, they need to be spent, right? That's really cool. That's good insight. So, so you're here, here to help them, bro. Like if you add extra oh, yeah. bucks on something, they are like, great, I, spent, I spent more money, which is counterintuitive. But if you think about that, like, well, good. I mean, here's, here's my, you know, here's my three options. And this yeah. one is the, is the, yes, the most expensive. And it's really, really high profit for you, but it may actually help them, you know? So sometimes you got to uh, think, you know, how can we help each other? You know, that's why asking yeah. questions is good. So when you got into, so you, so you, so you talk to this guy, y'all are kind of, y'all have a relationship now. That's good. When you first, um, this marketing director, when you first were getting to know him or 
or break in with, them, with this guy's kind of go backwards for a second. It, it's basically a referral, right? Someone said, hey, I know Joel, he's, he's a real deal, you should talk to him. Is that how, is that kind of, if, if we had to break it down into just a business term, like that's kind of how you got that, that meeting, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really just word of mouth and like. Okay. It, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And that's good, and that's, that's awesome, very common. So a lot of folks are always, put, they'll put mental barriers in their head. Like, well, I don't know anybody. It's like, well, you don't know anybody if you sit in your room and don't do anything. Of course, you have to get outside, <laughs> you know, go outside the door, which out, out over here, if you see windows back here, and make friendships, make network, talk yeah. about what you're doing. And um, at the same time, uh, becoming an expert at the same time, being really good at what your craft. Um, and then so when you go, when you, when you get that referral, that meeting, you're confident and you can um, make a deal. And it's okay to yeah. do one department uh, for a small fee or, or almost nothing because then you got – I mean, I know you got to bite your bullet and there's that's right. tons of more to go around. And, you know, if yeah. you, my thought is like, you know, if I make this, you know, incredible, immersive, informative, beautiful virtual tour for this one department, I can use that with every other department and go in there, the tablet, show them like, hey, this is what we did for this other department. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it can be like really impressive, right? <laughs> Exactly. That's cool. I'm excited about it. Um, exactly. And well, that's good. You're going to crush it, bro. I, I'm, I'm interested in, um, you know, I, I, from a university standpoint, most of the time, a lot of people that are in um, director roles, they have, they're, they're publicly posted, like their name is somewhere on a website somewhere. Uh, it's like, for instance, I'm in Houston. So University of Houston, they have all kinds of procurement people that are posted publicly. Um, now they're not always easy to find. You can't, can't just like type in U of H uh, procurement and like they all pop up, yeah. but they're somewhere. There's directories for some reason. I'm not sure if it's a, if it's a public university thing or what, but they post they ha their, their, their roles are online. So you may be able to get a name and walk in the door and say, Hey, I'm just trying to talk to Diane for like five minutes and they'll say, well, do you have a meeting? You know, it's like, no, I don't, <laughs> but you know, um, exactly. yeah, it's like, but I did talk to her friend, you know, Matt director over here at, at and he's, you know, if you, you obviously want to utilize him to, to shoot an email, to shoot a short email, to get, to get that, that, yeah. that, uh, that bridge, you know, built. Connection but, on. Yeah. Exactly. That, that's how you grease the skids. That's what we call it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but then, I mean, you know, there's still names are still out there. And when you have that portfolio piece, there's other universities not just the USF system, right? There is, oh, yeah. I mean, there's, yeah. a, there's, a, there's a bunch of universities. If you type in how many universities are in Florida or how many are in St. Peter, South, uh, South Florida, there is a lot. There's a bunch. It's a like, ton. <laughs> yeah, it's a ton. Yeah, so the question is, can you break into the online universities? I'm just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> University of Phoenix. Yeah, that one's down here First too. First virtual tour. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, all right, cool. And, uh, I, I'll be definitely be interested in, in like how that goes with, you know, really just, um, you know, how many referrals he gives you and then also to, uh, what it develops into, you know, if you get, end up getting all USF, that'd be so cool, man. I want the people want you to totally crush that. That'd be great. And I want you to get paid for it. Do not underprice yourself. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I know. I know. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what's a fair price. And, yeah. 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 Uh, if I and, could go, if I could go back, I would change a lot of things. Yeah, I understand. Like what? Tell me more. Um, you know, I just, it was just so funny because uh, I had two meetings with them, you know, nine months ago, eight months ago, and basically said, okay, well, we'll see you in a few days. Just let us know a price and we'll go from there. So, you know, my, my girlfriend's the finance manager and my brother, Eli, he, he split the LLC with me. So he, cool. he's doing the back end stuff with me too. Great. And, uh, you know, it was just so hard. I was like, what do I even charge for this? Like I had no idea. I didn't research anything. Uh, and like, you know, I, I literally just Googled how much should I charge for a virtual tour? That's and funny. like, you know, I saw a few other companies that were doing like per photo or square footage, uh, for hourly. And I was just like, uh, like I had to make a quick decision and, and went with that 20, $25 per photo, which, uh, if I had gone back and done what I'm doing now as far as square footage, I would have made more money and it would have made more sense because 
doing per photo on that tour, what would have stopped me from taking, you know, one extra photo and then them asking me, okay, well, why did you take this one here? Because it's so close to the other one. I was like, you know, it, it just didn't make sense yeah. to do it. it create, at yeah. least to me. It you creates know? that, uh, yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to create a back end conversation when we're trying to get paid. You're trying to, exactly. you know, you're just trying to make fulfillment a one, Hey, here it is. Pay me now, you know, instead of, Oh, exactly. how many, one, you know, that, that's not what you want. You got, that makes sense. Yeah. So, exactly. um, what is some things now you're doing? So let's talk about fulfillment for a second. Um, we talked about a lot with you said you got the Z one. I saw some photos you've been posting. Uh, I want to talk about that museum photo. I, I, what are you doing now to make to make to make your tours look awesome? Like, what's your process look like? like share share with us like the whole thing. Whatever you think. Yeah. So uh, it was funny. So that picture for that museum the other day, I was I was like thinking in my head. I I got out of class and I was like, you know, like because I had saw what is it what's that company in New York uh Lunsoft who takes these like ridiculous aerial 360s from a helicopter in like New York and like all these major cities and that's like super good publicity because they just do a small watermark in like the sand or like somewhere hidden and they just blast it and it gets shared by like thousands of people so I was like thinking I was like nobody's really done that in my city Mm -hmm. and you know I have a drone but I didn't I, I didn't want to go through trying to take an aerial like in such short notice so I was like oh let me find it like a landmark cool spot go take a 360 photo at. and so I went around downtown and went to like a few spots I got kicked out of uh, the sundial which is right downtown and like <laughs> the security guard's like no man he's like you can't have tripods out here he's like somebody's gonna trip on them like, okay so I went to like a few other places and I went to that museum the happy theater and uh I was just like looking, I was like, the lighting's perfect, like this bright, vibrant green grass, like these huge archways. I was like, this is going to look sick if I can get this out there. So um, as far as like workflow to get that picture, um, I just kind of looked around the area. I was like, what's going to be the most aesthetic view to start with for just one single, single pano to post? And uh, so I got my Z1. I just used a monopod. And, uh, you know, I, I always go about neck height, um, just, uh, just what I always do. And uh, so after I took that photo, I do bracket exposures, which uh, do the two-stop rule. So one at uh, two under, one at mid-range, and one at two over. And then when I bring in the post into Lightroom, I will run that same plug-in for the uh for the z1 when you say same then, plugin share people so they don't know so there's a plugin for the for the z1 which i didn't start using until probably a month after i got the z1 and how much of a difference it actually makes because you can tweak a whole bunch more when you shoot in dmg yeah um and i know like everybody on that forum on cloud panel is asking okay like what settings do you guys use like <laughs> like and, like what export like it all these to, and i was asking the same thing until i kind of stumbled across the thing that was working best for me what's the plugin you can, called do you know what it's called it's uh it's a z1 stitcher yeah it's out there for Lightroom. Yeah. yeah yeah definitely go and download it if you have <laughs> yeah. Z1 right now yeah right now, right now. <laughs> Because it just gives you a lot more options, especially if you're doing layer masks, which is what I did for that photo, which is basically combining those three mm -hmm. photos after the stitcher ran them together mm -hmm. and then bring it into Photoshop and lowering the noise in the clouds was super important. And so you can do that by bringing in that lowest exposed photo. Yeah. And that's, that's generally my workflow. You know, we talked about making a video about how, how I go about it and how yeah. my brother goes about it. And, uh, honestly coming up with a consistent workflow for these post edits and making them as fast as possible, but also making them, you know, the best quality. It does take time. Yeah. I would say probably 15 to 20 minutes per photo. And that sounds like a lot, but we talked about this yesterday too, as far as, especially with cloud panel, you have, you know, you only have one shot per room. 
you might as well make that one shot as beautiful as possible because what we're doing is just as much art as it is business when it comes down to it. Like you're trying to make these places look inviting and warm and make that viewer want to go visit. Mm -hmm. That's that's super important. Can't really def- forget yeah. That. yeah, it's like uh, an interesting visual product, right? So you have to keep that in mind. So if you're delivering a visual product, it got to look good, bro. You know, so the better you are at making it look good, uh, the more skilled you are at that. <clears throat> Not only will you um, be able to present better products, but also you'll be able to um, be more confident. It will be, it will create a marketing piece for you. Obviously being it that it's your domain name on Cloud Banner, right? As a ProPlus mm-hmm. user. Um, <clears throat> and you said, you know, it's one photo for one, one shot per room. You know, you don't, you can put as many as you want, but but really, like I'm, I'm with you. One, one photo per room is fine, and make it look great. Make it look awesome. Yeah. Spend the time, exactly. you know. And I'm always, um, I'm always big on, you know, trying to get an editor to do it for me, you know, and then just kind of give them some tweaks because uh, I'm trying to go on to the next customer. But exactly. Or I got kids who are like, ah, Daddy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so I can't spend too much time. And you'll see how that goes one day when your girlfriend becomes your your wife, and then you have hopefully kids. Soon. Hope, oh, great! Oh, hopefully soon. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, being confident and being able to uh, create, you know, world-class uh, 360 photos and then add them into obviously cloud panel, which is o- only getting better every day. It looks good now, but it's going to get better in the future as well too. <clears throat> um, is a big deal. You know, the whole thing comes together when you got your mind wrapped around all those things. Then Absolutely. yeah. <clears throat> so that's Absolutely. cool. So tell the story what happened when you posted that photo. It's a cool story. Yeah. So I had about probably, <clears throat> probably about 50 people on my friends list share that photo. And I was, just, I just made a blast. I was like, look, I was like, I'm trying to just get this photo. What we're talking about is at uh, uh, this, this museum, this theater in downtown St. Pete. It's really prominent and well-known. Mm. And that's where I wanted like a landmark 360 taken at to mm-hmm. just be disseminated across the webs or, or wherever it's going. Yeah. And so I had like, I just made this, huge message blast like saying everybody that lived in my city like hey can you please just share this photo get it out I'm trying to get my foot in the door with this theater and so I had like 50 people share it and had like over it has like over 5,000 engagements within like 48 hours (laughs) and so within that time the uh whoever I have no I still don't know who it is but whoever runs that theater's uh Facebook or social media manager reached back out to me and said, Hey, that 360 you posted over exterior is amazing. Here is the contact for our uh, director of marketing. He gave me your email. And I just, you know, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Like this is <laughs> literally exactly what I wanted to have awesome. like, for them to see that photo. And for me to get my foot in the door. I was like, I, that's I awesome. Like, Why did I not think about this sooner? It's like, just because, of the, that other company in New York that I was telling you about, Lensoft, yeah. who takes those incredible aerials just for exposure. I was like, we can do that same thing. For totally free. Yeah, free you know. to do. Post on your Facebook. You have a network of people that you live nearby. They see how awesome it looks. It somehow makes it into the doorstep of the right person. It's really cool. Yeah, I was telling right. Joel, I, I saw a guy do the same thing in the Dallas, I think it was Dallas area. He, he had a drone shot of 360 at nighttime. Not sure if it was legal, probably not in the city because it, it looked really cool. Well, well, well processed photo looked, I mean, looked, looked awesome. And uh, I looked at the shares. It was like 3000 or something like, like views or some, some crazy number. Yeah. And of course he's got it watermarked and he's got his Facebook you know, page on it. When you click into it, you see, oh, okay, these guys make virtual tours for apartment complexes, for big facilities, for venues. It, it's free exposure, right? So it's something you can do today. You can go out and take your Z1, <clears throat> go to location and just shoot a landmark and then say, Hey friends, I'm trying to get the door with this particular person who knows them right? And then it becomes a thing. So you got their email and their contact info. So what's your next step? Uh, for me, I, I, what's funny, you said that and I go, oh, okay, put that in the Trello. Because I, I use a Trello board for like my CRM, yeah. which, is a, which is a free tool. Right? I put people's names in it. If they're, you know, they're leads, they're warm, they're, have I booked a demo? Um, have I followed up with them? Have I delivered a proposal and followed up with them? And I have follow-up lists. And so I'm like consistent with talking to those people. Like I know like how if they want it now or later or never, it is never, I kick them off of there. But obviously, you know, I'm tracking all those things because as you get, as you, what happens is that you have more, 
more people come into your world, you have to you have to be able to, you know, put them down somewhere so you can visually exactly. see. Exactly, manage them, organize them. Yeah, so my mind just said, put them in Trello, which isn't. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> well, it's anyway. funny, but I just recently started doing that like a month ago. My, oh, really? My cool. My girlfriend was like, Cameron, she's like, you, you got to get more organized, man. Like, <laughs> you're like, what you're doing right now has no structure and you're only going to get yeah. more busy. This yeah, that's but, funny. Know, I, I recently started making lists of, you know, Cool. Different leads and what's working, what's not. And awesome. It's helping. It's yeah, helping. you got to get organized. It's funny <laughs> how our, our wives or our girlfriends are like, hey, listen, I'm pretty organized and you're like not. So let's work on that. I'm like, okay. And then, you know, my, my wife books things out two, three weeks in advance. And I'm like, honey, what's happening it's tomorrow? Like, what's exactly. happening today? You know? I cannot plan up our head. Yeah. <laughs> It's good. Having good people in our, in our, in our circle is good. It's important. That's cool. So, um, yeah, so let's talk about lead gen or, or building lists or, or kind of attacking that way a little bit. Yeah, I saw your dentist photo. I already dentist virtual tour. I love that you had to really take advantage. You took advantage really well. I thought of, of, of the features like of giving, you know, links, uh, links out to, the, to that, that particular client. Um, mm -hmm. I thought I saw some cool, like just descriptive things on there and it was, but it was also simple enough to where, was it too much? And it looked dope. Like you did a good job with each picture. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, again, I was thinking same thing we discussed with, with the university of uh, Southern Florida, like that's a leverage piece right there. You just need that example. You can hit all 60 of those dentists oh, yeah. in, in St. Pete. So what have you done with that so far? What's your plan? And I want, I want to tell you what kind of what I would do just to, just to see, uh, just to give some feedback if, just for fun. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So it's fine. So that particular shoot, um, it was kind of a mess up and that's, that's literally, that's pretty much how I stumbled and, and kind of recommitted myself to cloud piano is originally that owner of that orthodontist clinic only wanted a Google virtual tour. Mm -hmm. And, but he, you know, I, I spent a long time designing his Google virtual tour and he ended up not being happy with it. Because I don't, I mean, I'm sure you know this, but when, you, when you're walking through a space on Google Maps, you can literally, no matter how you connect areas, you can walk through walls basically mm -hmm. and get to the other side of a room just by like accidentally clicking. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, he's like, I don't really like that this isn't user friendly. Yeah. And uh, is there anything we can do about this? And, you know, so I, what'd I you say? Oh, <laughs> like, uh, like, no. <laughs> It's like, please honestly, pay me anyways. <laughs> Dang, that's I like, horrible. Honestly, I, know, I know. So I was like, I was, I was, obviously, I was like, um, it's like, there's not much we can do. And it, it was kind of confusing because my brother was the one that got this lead mm -hmm. from another orthodontist that we shot as a referral. So this mm -hmm. guy had, you know, pretty high expectations because of the tour that we did for this other guy's office. Mm -hmm. The layout was a little bit more simple for his Google virtual tour. So everything worked out fine with that one. So he was kind yeah. of, he kind of had the same expectation for his. And but so either way, he when, wasn't happy. So, so yeah, exactly. either, that, yeah. either, either way he wasn't <laughs> happy. And uh, so I was like, uh, and I was like sitting down with my brother. I was like, dude, I was like, we need to like offer him like something like, mm -hmm. like we need to do something for him or else, you know, he's not going to be happy. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, honestly, like if, if I had that tour on my site and that's the only thing I was paying for, I wouldn't feel comfortable paying for that mm -hmm. um, or the Google virtual tour I'm talking about. So I was like, yeah. dude, I was like, I was like, I'm on this cloud panel forum. I was like, I love what these guys are doing. It's going to give us like more room for creativity. I was like, let's just bite the bullet on like this 999 and design him a new virtual tour with those same photos that we took for, uh, for his Google listing and redesign it and add some like embedded information and then um, see what he says. And so we quickly, I mean, I'm not even joking, probably within two or three hours, I redesigned that tour on cloud Pana, probably less than that, honestly, in some random coffee shop. Um, and then I, I sent that embedded link to Eli. He's like, dude, he's like, which is my brother. He's like, you gotta be kidding me. He's like, this is amazing. So he forwarded, <laughs> he forwarded that to the orthodontist and the orthodontist is like, he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, I wasn't expecting this. He's like, this is awesome. He's like, you guys like one above and beyond what we were expecting. And cool. uh, he ended up being happy. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> You're like, just throw something together. It ends up, he ends up liking it. That's cool. 
Awesome. Exactly. That's really exactly. Cool. And what's, but, good about, uh, what's good about that is you can come back in. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What were you saying? I was just saying like, you know, what were you saying before is using that same tour as leverage for other orthodontists. So literally the day after that, I made a list of about probably 95 different dentists and orthodontists, all their contact information, cool. all their emails and which ones don't have virtual tours, which ones don't have photos, which one can benefit from it. And mm -hmm. that was just all in the Southwest Florida area. Cool. That's awesome. So 95, that's a great, great target, man. That's perfect. That's really cool. That's a good story. I like how like, you can shoot things over to, so what being that cloud, cloud panel is hosted and, and it's not as confusing if that you jump through a wall or whatever. Yeah. I've made, I made Google Street Food tours that have just been like, I, it's been bug, buggy and I'm like upset because I'm like, I can't figure out where this, this photo looks like it's supposed to go here and I drag it there and it's not there. It's going to, yep. It's like, it drives me insane. Exactly. So you're exactly. trying to deliver something to your client. You make these big promises. Oh, you're going to walk through. It's going to look awesome. It's going to be perfect for everything. And then you make it and you're like, it's not perfect and I can't help. I don't know what to do. And how do I fix this? How do I, how do I make good on my promises? Right? So now you can send stuff to, to your, to your client back. Like, hey, by the way, you want to put a video right here in this lobby? We can, if you want, no big deal. Hey, look, I just did it. You know, check it out now. Exactly. And you can do it in real time. Which yeah, is in real like time. Yeah, dude, it's so cool. So, so your your customers are going to be happy. So that's cool, and that, that's that's really great. I'm happy to hear that. It's it's cool for me for, from the software side because we're trying to build a platform where guys can go out there and crush it, but then like make clients happy, and that's what's happening. So we got all kinds of weird tours and cool tours coming through. And but what yeah. I see with Dennis, I think cool money maker. He's gonna make a lot of money in that niche because I know you can use that tour and you can market to all 95 of those. And maybe, you know, half of them respond to you and then, you know, 10, 20% say yes, but still yeah. there's, there's money to be made there. Now there's a little well there. Go, go dig your well, pull out all the water and then go to the next exactly. one. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, that's cool. Cool. Uh, I like that well analogy. It's been kind of something my mind. It's been, you know, <laughs> it's, I read something yesterday. I was like, this is a good analogy. It's like, anyways, it's um, a way to do it. Yeah, man. Cool. I like that. So, okay. So here's what I would do if I were you. And by the way, when it comes to building a list, I usually don't do it myself. I know this may seem uh, strange, but I have a spreadsheet on, on Google Sheets. I share that link shareable. I give it to a guy, a small outsourcing team. They're in Pakistan. Uh, this guy is so awesome, bro. Three fifty an hour. I give him, I give him a list. I, I make a video screen share. I say, here's what I'm doing to, to make, to get one per one contacts list. I want you to do the same strategy but I want you to do it for every single person in the city. And they just like do it. And it's awesome. And we also use a, 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 a scraping tool to like grab their email off their website. So I can oftentimes find the owner's email address and that's the person I want to actually email. So instead of, yeah. instead of, instead of like info at dentist.com, it's like, it's like Gary, the guy at, yeah. you know, his local dentist.com. It's like his yeah. email. So it goes to his inbox. So now when I'm talking to him via email, I know who I'm talking to instead of going, Hey guys, anyone know the, the owner of this place? Like delete, they're gonna, you know, but, but versus the opposite of, because Dennis and, and these niches get, get targeted a lot by a lot of different services, yeah. SEO, website designers, software, all kinds, they're getting sold too often, right? So you gotta be able to stick up quickly and show a virtual tour and be able to visually show what um, you're offering, right? So, hey, yeah. and when you say, you know, what, what was your customer's name, like first name of that guy from the dentist place? Use his um, name, basically. Yeah. It's, it's okay if you don't know. Yeah. Let's, let's say it was Joseph, right? And you would say, hey, Joseph over here at, at downtown dentist, dentistry, love this. Can I make this for you? Here's the virtual tour. Here's the link. This is what we do professionally. We're experts. Do you have five minutes for a conversation? Yeah. Like yeah, kind absolutely. of book and meeting, right? So what, I'll, I'll build that list, try to get the actual email, and then it'll use that as my list. And I've used a couple different softwares. I've, I've bought different ones for email marketing. It's like cold outreach marketing softwares. Mm -hmm. They send emails. They wait a certain number of days, whatever you, whatever you say to do. And then like say four days later, it sends a follow-up email. So if they don't respond, it, it emails them like every four days. Hey, just check yeah. it in here. So you have these different emails crafted. So you have four emails you send over four weeks to this person. Like the second, third, and fourth email, get a response big time. And really? what happens is they don't get emailed anymore if they respond. So it takes them off that list or off the auto, the auto email thing. So, so, yeah, so if, they're not getting annoyed. Exactly. It's so it's perfect. a really cool thing. And it's, it's, it helps you as a lot of marketers use this kind of, kind of te techniques because when I started doing this, I just like was blown away because my, um, 
my first email never, never seemed to get a response, like such a low response rate. But yet my second and third, huge response rate, 30, 40% sometimes of my whole list really? responding. You know, so I'm thinking, well, this is how you go about it. If you have a good list, if you have a bad list, you have, like say it's just, it's just general emails, it's not going to be as good, of course. But every once in a while that works. Um, yeah. So, so like utilizing those kind of strategies, and I, uh, I use a software called Mailshake. It's really cool. I have a software called Stilvia. I, I, I can send you, send you links to them. But, um, yeah, absolutely. And the, they're really cool. And it takes a little time to learn these things. You know, you kind of have to become like a, a kind of a marker. Like, like I'm going to focus on just marking my business, you know. And that, mm-hmm. that takes your mind away from other things sometimes, which is, which is okay at times. So kind of we discussed balancing from like becoming a fulfillment expert and then bouncing into like, okay, now I'm in marketing mode. Um, it's okay to bounce back and forth uh, as you yeah. as, as your business grows. Absolutely, it's okay to have people on your team. It's okay. Now I'm working on this marketing aspect. Well, this I have an extra photographer who who's my buddy, or I've hired a high school kid before. He was homeschool. It was like really awesome. He actually um, was a super nice guy. I overpaid him probably. Actually, I should have paid him hourly, honestly. <laughs> but but he would go to go to apartments and like shoot these like photos for me, and he said he'd send them to me. I just give my camera and say, "Do not break this camera." <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> Press the button and leave. Tom yeah, I, t- I, I invite them over to my house. I, I, sh- I say, hey, bro, I'm an entrepreneur. Here's what I'm doing. Uh, I taught him how to use the camera. I taught him how to use the app. You know, you know, here's how it is. Here's my expectations. You know, just wear a collared shirt. Be nice. You know, and I just kind of like give him a chance. And he did a good job. So it was cool. And he can't go off to, he actually went off to school. So he's not around anymore. But, <laughs> but if you think this way, it's like I got – I, I'm just, this is just me just kind of spitballing here. Um, you can do whatever you want, of course, in your business, obviously. Um, but over time, you're going to see like, now my time's starting to get, get more tight. Uh, I'm making money, but my, my time, I'm losing a little bit of time. How do I free up time? You got to buy back your time. So having a guy who can build a list, uh, having a system in place that can do email for you automatically, uh, having somebody who can help you with photography, go out there and do it, know how to bracket shots for you. You walk them through it. I mean, what, we can be honest with each other. It's pretty straightforward. What do you think? In regards to, in regards to shooting, oh, yeah. I mean, shooting. What, I mean, honestly, it's it, it's incredibly simple. Yeah, I think you know, this. It's the only the, that is the only thing I'm struggling with is having the time to shoot them. It's the editing is is it's all on me, and I'm fine with that. But if I could have somebody shoot for me, yeah, that would take away you know half the amount of time that I'm spending. True, and then and therefore, if you paid them hourly or whatever, so so you can work these things out. Like I, I used to think, uh, you know, first off, yes, it's so true. Uh, the, the Z1 and these single shot cameras are incredible. They're an amazing tool. If I can train somebody in one hour how to use it and then they're equipped now to go do it, me as a business owner, I have a lot of free, I have freed up now to really build a real business, which is cool versus um, maybe, you know, still photography, it's a lot of skill sets involved. Like, I mean, I mean, in my opinion, I think, you know, you can really mess up still photography pretty quickly. I mean, you just, you're just off a little bit. You're like, dang, yeah. I gotta fix this or, or the lie is not good or the settings are off a little bit. I mean, you can really mess that up pretty quickly and it takes a lot of yeah. skill sets and takes time, you know, which, which is, this is why you pay for it. Right. But the same, but, but this 360 Z one or any kind of even other cameras, you can just quickly, Hey bro, here's how you use it. Press this button. Make sure you're not in the photo. And like, and then and that's it. Go to the next, the, the next spot, you know, exactly. <laughs> which is not, you're not going to get always perfect results when you can hire somebody to do something. But, um, but it's exciting to know that that's a possibility and it could be the future, right? Of your business, yeah, right? Or mine absolutely. or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I was thinking about this the other day and this is, I don't know how you, how you process this, but when I, when I was young, when I was younger, I always thought, well, I can't, I can't, I can't hire you, but I'm trying to make all the money I can, you know, myself. <clears throat> oh, you good, bro? You, sorry, you I'm, sorry. I'm just moving outside. Are <laughs> oh, you good? No worries. You, you talk, um, sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. You're cool. Um, well, I'll, I'll keep going with my thought then. So, uh, now I've like, I've really tried to change my mindset about, uh, any type of business. And so now I'm looking around and thinking, okay, what are some successful businesses around me that are hiring folks and how are they hiring them? So I went to breakfast the other day, got some breakfast tacos and I looked on the, and I looked at people working. It was a place called Bill Miller's barbecue. Okay. It's a barbecue place. Mm-hmm. 
It's in San Antonio. Super good, man. It's like, like just been around forever. It's like old school barbecue, whatever. Well, I look on the wall and it has this incentive like, you know, we'll pay you hourly. We'll give you a 401k. We'll pay for your school. So they're targeting college students to come work and build Millers. And I look at Chick-fil-A where I live and I say, well, all these, it's all high school kids working here. And then I work at, look at Ben and Jerry's. Like Ben and Jerry's has two high school students who are soup and ice cream. So somebody, a franchise owner, bought a franchise built it, put all the ice cream in there, and then hired two kids to do it for him. And he makes money at home while these two kids are scooping ice cream, getting paid, getting paid hourly. Now, that's how a big time entrepreneur thinks. That's how like, you know, that's how, that's how big business owners think. And that's how we've got to change our mind to sometimes. How do I build a system that creates this outbound strategy that goes out and gets customers, that fulfills beautifully? And I'm kind mm-hmm. of out, up here saying, Okay, is all the pieces of the puzzle work? Is, it, is the system smooth? Is, is everything greased up? Is everything taken care of? Is there gas in the tank? You know, okay, cool. You know, let it, let it go, kind of thing. That's exactly. What I'm always trying to think about, about things that way, and that's how I have exactly. to. Be, you know, so that's why I'm able to even build Cloud Panda with my partner Clayton. Like Clayton's a developer. Like I can't develop nothing. I can't. Yeah, I can, I can barely code anything. I can code a little but bit. You can market. <laughs> that's right. So I focus on that. I focus on building those systems. You know, and as he works his tail off building the best software in the world, I'm thinking, how do I help people at a deeper level? Well, sometimes talking to guys like you, Joel, like, hey, what are you up to? How are you, what are you doing? You know, and like sharing those things out. And that, that's kind of what my role is, right? So I know what, what, where my role is. So, so I can't do it all, you know? And that's exactly. a lot of, I think a lot of folks can follow that trap of trying to do it all. So that's Yeah, and my, it's like, funny. It's like advice. what I've, recently came across is like utilizing the people closest to you or mm. just your peers is you know i've had probably three or four people just front buddies message me that are in other cities like hey like i love what you're trying to do like do you need help with your business and i'm like yeah i was like but let me figure out like what you could do first <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And there's, there's so, i mean there's so many things they can do and so like one of the things i've done recently is after that orthodontist and after you know, you contact me and so I'm like, you need to make a niche out of this. And it's like, okay, I need to make marketing material specifically mm-hmm. for these guys, like for orthodontists and for dentists, for dentists and for ortho- or for uh, doctor's offices. And so I made these uh, these uh, brochures, these single page brochures. <laughs> uh, I made the... <laughs> okay. You good? We got, we got two minutes. Go ahead. <laughs> but, <laughs> so I made these uh, these single page uh, brochures to uh, to hand out to dentists and orthodontists. That you know, in my mind, I was just thinking like this is going to look more more tailored, more custom fit for that specific business. You know, mm-hmm. say I'm going to go, I'm going to literally go today, right after this, probably, cool. and uh, go to a few dentists and just go in, go in with my tablet show them this cloud panel tour I did of this other orthodontist and give them this brochure and be like, Hey, this is what I did for a other local dentist. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And uh, these are the services we can provide and just boom and done. And I'm out of there. That's awesome. And then That's also great. email blast, like you said. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, it's just, yeah, email, email is just one channel, right? Going in and going in person is the number one thing. It's the best thing ever. If you can get right from the right person, that's really cool. And obviously, exactly. booking a meeting where they're ready and hot and warm to, to, f- to hear the presentation and see it, that's the best scenario. You can do. That's, that's what you're trying to create when you're marketing, right? Well, that's really cool. I'm really, really proud of you, bro. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. I do have to go. But of course, man. No um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, love your marketing brochure. Love what you're doing. All the stuff you're doing is just like, it's the beginnings of a great business. So like be, be aware of that. Think long term. It's okay to have delayed gratification to make money later. Right. I, I, I kind of what we're discussing a lot today is like, how do I use this piece to leverage against in this whole niche? How do I use this one for the next? So I think that's a really cool state of your business. So I'm excited for you to have success. And obviously thank you for your, your time on cloud panel. We, of course, man. You're, 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 you being here, and then uh, of course I'm gonna blast out our inter- your interview everywhere, so you, you may get some questions. Hopefully, you can answer them fast. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, man. It was good to be on your show. Right, Take care, later. bro. Bye. Bye.